The late adopter. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to a new BitTorrent video. And in this video, I thought we should talk about some kind of price predictions, what might and might not happen, uh, where this might and might not go. So I thought uh, it might be interesting. The thing I found out. So let's get into the charts and see actually what's happening with uh, BitTorrent. Uh, I think we're gonna start with the weekly chart over here and. Uh, there is a one very nice line, uh, trending line that actually confirms this uh, top over here. And that's uh, this one over here. So it hits these two weeks over here. Uh, it hits also the week here and hits the week up here. So this line over here looks like some like really, really nice resistance line. So we're going to keep that, keep that. And also to know uh, a lot of patterns that are happening uh, in uh, in uh, when you do a technical analysis and you're looking at the charts, they repeat uh, very often. Patterns repeat. Also, these channels also repeat a lot. And I've noticed that these uh, these multi-year or um, trending lines usually uh, have kind of some kind of a steps, right? <coughs> So what we can do here, uh, because what we want to do now is figure out what next target should be or is uh, there about, right? So we're going to try to figure out if this line can help us achieve that. So we're going to start by drawing uh, exactly the same line and then pulling the uh, uh, parallel line uh, downwards to somewhere where it seems to have uh, something because I like this uh, bottom over here, right? So I'm thinking this bottom over here and this top over here, they are kind of, kind of corresponding with each other. So maybe something like this, uh, depends on how you draw it. So you can see already here that the, this uh, parallel line down here, it's also very nice uh, corresponding with this. So this seems like some kind of channel that we are right inside of it. So we can zoom in here and see what's actually happening here. And you can see here that we got resisted, resisted exactly on the line, resisted and then broke it. And we went all the way up to the top of the line where the uh, previous resistance is. So it looks, it looks very nice. It looks very nice. Uh, also down here, uh, you might say this is some kind of a top uh, hit as well, a resistance there. So I like it. I like this channel that's moving up upwards. And I'm thinking uh, extracting this channel uh, further upwards can give us some kind of targets for where uh, BitTorrent, just based on technical analysis, not the fundamental level, what price should be based on the market cap and stuff like that. And compared to other, uh, other tokens in its uh, uh, same category. But so let's try to make uh, more uh, lines on, on the upside. And we're going to do it by drawing this line in the middle over here. Like this. And then extracting it. Because this, uh, this should be exactly the same uh, distance. Uh, from the line. So all of these are uh, exactly para, uh, parallel lines and they, they are acting as a, some kind of a uh, resistance and support lines on the way up. So now we can uh, zoom into, into this and see that uh, we have hit this line over here. We broke it, we broke the next one, got rejected and now we're falling back to this line over here. Uh, same thing goes here up to uh, this line over here. Uh, got some kind of support, it broke the support to resistance went down to the line, then went all the way up, tried to break, couldn't resist it, resist it, and went back down, brought, uh, broke it on the downside and continued uh, further uh, movement down. So if we assume that these lines are correct, uh, I always say assumptions in technical analysis is a bad thing, but let's assume it's a bad thing, uh, that let's just just assume that this might happen then we can all already see it now that this line over here and this line over here are the first point of resistance for us now you can also see this is four hourly that there's some kind of pattern going on right here that's gonna uh, actually happen so we got this uh, some kind of a uh, triangle uh, cr being created right now depends on how you draw it right it looks very nice uh, maybe something like this maybe a little bit more up there uh, yeah, let's put it like this. So you can see there is some kind of triangle. It's gonna break on one side or, or the other. We're gonna talk about that uh, in, in a short while. But once it breaks on uh, upside or the downside, the target next target should be this line over here. Uh, this is at 0 
and then uh, if it breaks on the upside the next target should be this line over here that's 0 0.04 after that line of course we want to see uh, once it breaks it we want to see it go all the way uh, either up or it's gonna go all the way back down and this line here is actually pretty decent support if you look on the weekly chart if we look on the weekly chart uh, this uh, this stop over here is uh, was previously resistance now it's very uh, important support but also if we look on the monthly chart you can see that it's also almost on the on, on the line not exactly but it corresponds to the monthly monthly close as well so you can see down here that the weekly and the monthly this range over here it's gonna act as a very good very good support and that's uh, almost exactly where the line uh, where this uh, line is just a little bit above it but it can always weak inside or outside of the line right so it looks very nice and i'm thinking if it goes down it's gonna test this uh, support down here at 0 0.020 uh, was that 20 27 28 and if it continues going down it's gonna go all the way down but if it goes up this so the target on the upside should be something like 0 0.00 okay let's just say 60 and on the downside should be uh, 18 so that's those are of course two possibilities now we come to the uh now we have some kind of price targets so i'm thinking like what's the likelihood of this breaking on the upside and downside now everything is likely to break on the downside of course because of bitcoin but i'm thinking we in bitcoin it, it's gonna it's maybe it's gonna go further down tomorrow maybe it's gonna pull this down to further down uh down and stuff like that let's see just uh, let me just see on how it's been acting for the last uh, two days something like that we had a pretty big pump yesterday while everything was in green uh, uh yeah so it, it's it's hard to tell it's hard to tell but depends on what bitcoin does if bitcoin uh, starts bleeding it might actually break on the downside and that would be bearish so we will be looking for this target here at 27 and then and next is back all the way back to down to 18 but if it breaks on the upside we should uh, look for three tests on this uh, uh, 0 0.040 uh, line and then after that all the way up to 60 if we manage to break it so now that we know that let's assume bitcoin does what bitcoin does it just a stable coin uh of right now so we can look a little bit of the moving averages and the, it's this uh, this triangle is very bearish uh, on the four hourly because you can see here that the 10 and 20 moving average we are right below it uh, so that means if unless we break uh, above the, these moving averages while we're getting into this uh uh, this uh, ending of this triangle probabilities are that this this these moving averages is going to push the price uh, on the downside on the downside so you never uh, so the closer you get to this ending of the uh, triangle the, the apex you want to be on the upside if you want to go up and you want uh, if you are on the, below the moving average especially the 10 and 20 moving average uh, the chances are you can be pushed the good thing is that this uh, 50 moving average is coming up so while we do uh, still have time left it can maybe we can maybe get to the 50 moving average and the 50 moving average might actually push us on the upside if we can get support from that if we can get let's see how this looks on the daily on the daily is actually pretty uh, i don't know what i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call this a good or a bad thing but daily uh, the 10 moving average is all the way down at support uh, down here so that means that this correction can have actually still a way to go uh, down now you can see here and previously once we uh, got to some kind of tops we went sideways we went sideways until we hit the 10 moving average and the 10 moving average pushed the price higher up before we went back down to it and broke it and then tried to find support uh, down here and then played around the moving averages before we continue further up so this also can uh, indeed continue further up and have uh, and stay in this trading range uh, below here it can continue in the trading range and wait for the actually uh, the moving averages to uh, wait for moving averages and then price may jump on the moving averages and then break on the upside either way right now uh, it's inconclusive on what's gonna do the four hourly uh, the four hourly is looking uh, very bad right now because if we are below the moving averages so in the short term this is only gonna last like two, one more one or two more days before this uh, 
triangle is finished. Now, depending on the triangle, this is only four hourly, so it might just jump out of the triangle, go up here, and then start uh, yeah, creating a new, new triangular again. Uh, but right now, this looks like it's going to break on the downside. Uh, and if it does that, it also might hit this uh, 10 moving average up here. That's actually might give us support here. So what we might do is we might hit this uh, moving uh, we, uh, this uh, resistance over here and then go on the upside. And the same thing can ha happen in the opposite direction. If you hit the top over here, we can go on the downside and test the, the bottom, uh, bottom support again. So right now what we want to do is actually monitor this uh this triangle and look if it's going to break on the upside or downside and that's the best case scenario right now uh the the breakout out of the triangle should be wait wait let me do it like this and see how how big the breakout should be this is a let's say it breaks somewhere around here the breakout should actually be pretty high up here so Hard to say. Maybe, 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 maybe it's uh, maybe it's down here. Maybe triangle is not uh, this one over here, but maybe it's, and then maybe it's gonna go all the way up to the ending and then break out on the. Uh, yeah, but usually they, they never do. They break sometimes. But is, are we gonna call this in the ballpark area? In the ballpark area, this uh, this part over here. Uh, and then probably on the downside, this uh, it's almost the same. If you break out, it's all the way down here. So whether these uh, these two targets are gonna be hit, depending, uh, it depends. It depends. But either way, the triangle is gonna. Uh, it, right now, the triangle looks bearish. But we are hoping that this uh, 50 moving average can actually push the price uh, up above it and uh, maybe go rather on the upside than on that side. But the bullish target is 60. The bearish target is 18. So take that as you want. Uh, right now and uh, there has been a lot of talking about the bit torrent and stuff like that so maybe it's gonna go up maybe your bitcoin is bottom out and stuff like that anyways if you like the analysis subscribe to the channel uh, put down the like write down something in the comments i read all the comments man so anyways don't uh, don't fall for the fun you know thanks cheers bye bye